to anybody watching this footage. It's Leviathan here again, and I figure to do my very first completely independent footage production, and hopefully I do it correctly. I've got two illustrations, which a friend of mine has been illustrating, and one of them I did the coloring, which is fine with him, about two characters that will be, be highly notable in this storyline that I will tell you guys about. Starting off, it's a story about Colossa. Sorry if it's backwards, no hard feelings. This is the main character of the storyline that I'm going to introduce to you guys. And there's also the character Cosmic, Master of the Universal Dimensions. I'm sorry about the lag there, it's just my fan. No hard feelings though, right? This storyline is potent, and I just hope you guys would be able to keep up with what I'm going to say as I do the storyline. I just hope I could be able to uh, be efficient for you guys when it comes to understanding the storyline. Here it is. Colossa number one, the beginning. Created and copyrighted by Levi Corsi Ames, July 22nd, 2015. To begin the story, we start traveling across the suburbs of New York until we start noticing a woman named Carol giving birth to a child with her husband, Howard, and having the delivery done by the Priantrum Nonsicolus, the goddess of pregnancies. Carol is in fact a semi-cosmic entity known to being one of the daughters of Goddess, ruler of the Alpha Gods. When the child was finally born, it was revealed to be a girl. This story is particularly about the child. Her name had been chosen to be Shannon Murray. Unfortunately, Carol had to abandon her husband and daughter to avoid losing her powers, and in the process, Shannon was diagnosed with both clinical depression and an unbearable fear of everything. And for most of her childhood, she was treated by many as a total outcast. By the present day, Shannon and her father were invited to the Blue Man Clan headquarters because their main director, the Master, found a solution to make Shannon's life better. better. For the record, the Blue Man Clan's the Leviathan Universe equivalent of S.H.I.E.L.D. Continuing on, however, as soon as Shannon noticed the needle with the green formula in it, she was struggling to get away, urging six workers to keep her in place. After she received the injection, Shannon went through an astonishing transformation. She grew to 10 feet in height, gained some muscle mass, received an amazing hourglass figure, her brown hair became long and white, and all of her physical and mental deformities dissipated. Wow, look, out, look how gorgeous I am, she admitted to all the people in the exam room. Eventually, after a week of the injection, Shannon had become so prideful that she urged to get more of the blessed formula. But the master tried to explain to her that an overdose would lead to some severe issues. And when Shannon got fully consumed by an inadvertent wave of the formula from a ruptured containment pod, she instantly expanded to the height of 65 feet. Now more prideful than ever, Shannon went on a destructive rampage with the local news station giving her the name Colossa. Luckily, as she was running rampant across New York City, Cosmic had arrived in a cosmic portal-based transport and announced to Colossa, Shannon Murray, I am Cosmic, Master of the Universal Dimensions. Try to stop me from obliterating this globe and you will surely regret it. I know for sure that you will be the one who will regret underestimating me, Cosmic. And by that point, they started fighting each other for the fate of the planet. During the fight, Colossa realized that she now has nuclear beams from her hands, immortality, infinite strength, unbeatable martial arts, and possesses unlimited growing capacity. After expanding to the intensely exhilarating height of 3 million feet, Shannon grabbed Cosmic and threw her out of the planet's atmosphere, saving the world in the process. Finally completing the fight, she noticed that the Master was on a nearby Blue Man Clan helicopter the size of a housefly compared to her and said through a megaphone, Colossa, 
You may have done some destruction, but you have saved our planet from utter annihilation. In order for you to get back to your normal size, you've got to think of that height. You're also unable to become anywhere smaller than your normal height. Before Colossa went back to her normal size, she broke the fourth wall for the first time by looking at the audience and saying, Well, viewers, we've got to get small again. Until next time. After she shrank back down, she got a hug from her father, she got herself on the global news station. Meanwhile, at Asgolympius, home of the Alpha Gods, Goddess was checking on her monitor in her bedroom and said to herself, You've done a fine job, grandbaby. Keep doing what you are doing. The end. I hope that storyline is sufficient for you, and hopefully you'll be able to keep up with the aspect of the matter. And just to refresh in your guys' memory, this is Colossa. You know, this character, apparently. And this is the villain that she had to defeat to save the planet. Cosmic. I'm doing this just to give you guys a decent memorization of the matter. Hopefully you guys enjoy the footage, and hopefully you guys are willing to learn more in the long run. I just hope that my... Leviathan Universe would be immortalized because my creations are counting on me. They refuse to be chalk lines on the concrete, and I refuse to have them be us, so. And until next time, it's Leviathan, and enjoy your time and such. Until the next footage, in the long run, and transmission.